What's up, Blitz fans? My name's Jake, and I'm here with no other than Miss Connie and Black Angus from the sneakiest of all sound systems, accompanied by a few disco balls. They're about to perform at our very own roundhouse before we have a quick chat. So, first up, guys, um, welcome back. You obviously played here a few years ago. Um, how much did you miss us? Oh, I can't, like, unbelievably so. Are you crazy? It was quite a while ago, maybe like five, five, five six, six years ago. You've obviously you've been all over Europe, you, Spain and France, played pretty much everywhere. Um, how how do we compare the uni vibe to the likes of Ibiza? And <laughs> well, we're, we're about to find out, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. Uh, it's sounding pretty damn feisty out there. Everyone's a little bit excited. I'm sure the cheap drinks are flowing. This is true, but I'm sure we won't disappoint. And uh, as you were saying, Angus, um, you, you guys met in a park randomly. Um, but let's suppose, Angus, you decided to take a different route that day and, and you didn't meet. Where, where, where would you guys be now? Who knows? Who knows where the universe would have taken us? I don't know. I would have liked to have become a rally driver. That, that would have been really cool. Maybe post sneaky sound system. You can drive rally cars and be in sneaky sound well, system at the same time. So, uh, could we expect you to drive up on stage, maybe? I'd do some like maneuvers. Oh, maybe I'd do one of those loop de loops. That would be insane. Oh, covered yeah. in this. The car's covered in, in this. Well, Born, you, you were saying you were studying commerce at, at Queensland. Do you see yourself owning a business? <laughs> I didn't expect this, no. I mean, it just, I, I guess the amazing thing about that is that um, who knows what's going to happen next. After you guys met at the park, did the name Sneaky Sound System, was that was that straight away? Uh, was that... that was already sort of happening because we started running a, a night called Sneaky Sundays, you know, three or four years earlier, which is just really a party club night. And we wanted to make music and, you know, we weren't a band per se at, the, at that stage. It was more of a, a sound system, which is like, you know, a, collect a collection of, um, see the feeling in there. And of course, you're jet setting off to Malaysia, playing on Saturday. Where, where's all this energy come from, guys? This comes from being on the road for basically five, five and a half years. And I must say, it doesn't take a huge amount of energy to drive to the airport and sit on a plane for nine hours. Duly noted, duly noted. And then we uh, do the gig, and we actually don't even stay the night. We get it on another plane, and we go to go to Miami. I'm in Miami, bitch. Via Paris, strangely enough. So there's another. That's uh, like a 24-hour like nightmare flight. Um, you're you're playing in Kuala Lumpur on St. Patrick's Day. Do you, do you know if oh, Malaysia no. celebrates St. Patrick's Day? Are you going to bring St. Patrick's Day to Malaysia? I'm pretty sure it's a St. Patrick's Day festival. Is it? No, but you know. Ah, oh, you totally had me. You should wear green. Well, and it's my heritage. I have to. Let's see what the reaction is. Let's see if anyone even gets now, it. You know, I've been told, like told by you know, like government officials, that I'm not allowed to wear tight clothing on stage. What, just in Malaysia? I'll be, I'll be arrested in Malaysia. And I'm not allowed to bare my hairy chest. But that, that's St. Patrick's Day naked. It's tradition. And... It's tradition, right? Green, tight oh, clothing yeah. and hairy chest. So why don't oh, you yeah, wear a fake yeah. hairy chest? Oh. And, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll wear your leotard. I mean, yeah. So we just heard it here first. Malaysia, you have something coming for you, I can tell you that. Of course, um, we're going to wrap it up, but um, I, I do have to ask all my friends want to know if you guys, the story is true, you have seen a UFO and nobody believed you, or was this, is it a big metaphor? Or No, I, I have actually seen a UFO and have been taken by aliens. Well, when did this happen? Ten, ten, eight to ten years ago. Eight to ten years ago. Angus, yeah. same thing happened? No, not to me. <laughs> is, it, is it easy to sing knowing that you, you really believe in it because of, of your alien experience? Well, listen... Alien abduction is a very tricky area, you know. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of skeptics out there. Uh, well, on behalf of Blitz and UNSW, we can safely say <laughs> we believe Sneaky Sound System. I would thank you. That means a lot to me. <laughs> Here's to believing in aliens and a great show. Thank you. Great, thank you.